Hello everybody, get ready to do lesson 12.4 of pre-algebra part 1. Here's your contact email. Okay, today's lesson is multiplying binomials here. And we got 38 points here for classwork and we have 2 points here for notebook. Um, okay, today's bell work. Teachers, you have 24 feet of fencing. You want to use to make a rectangular dog pin. Let L represent the length of the pin. Draw a diagram. Okay, first of all, students, draw a diagram. Write a poly polynomial for the width in terms of L. Write a polynomial for the area in terms of L. So you got two things here to do in terms of L. Teachers, give your students five minutes for your bell work today. Okay, welcome back for the solutions of our bell work. Here is a diagram for the dog pen here. LW, 2L plus 2W equals 24. We got a perimeter there. And then write, write the poly for the width in terms of L. So for in terms of L, we get uh, the width equals 12 minus L here after we go through this. And then we solve for W here. <clears throat> and then we get this here for W. Then the area equals length times width, which equals we have our length, uh, and then we have our width here, 12 minus L. And then we come out with this expression here for our area in terms of L for that. Okay? To our lesson today, we have uh, you multiply monomials and polynomials. You'll multiply binomials. So you learn how to model a binomial multiplication using algebra tiles before. We've done that earlier here in this course. You can also use a table to multiply two binomials. The model and table below show the product. So here we have x plus 4. This would be x plus 4 here. Then what would this be, class? <clears throat> 2x plus 3 here. 2x plus 3 is what this models here. So by using uh, uh, these tiles here to model this expression, we have x times 2x, and then that's what this would actually be doing here by our multiplication by using tiles. And then by x times 2x, you get 2x squared is what it amounts to. These are x squared and x squared, these are 2x squared here. <clears throat> and then we have x times 3, which is 3x, so that amounts to 3x's now <clears throat> for x times 3. These each here equal an x, so we have 3x's there. And then 4 times 2x would be 4 here times 2x here. And then that would equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8x. So by using tiles again, that's what that would equal. 4 times 2x would be 8x. Here's 8x here. You got 3x up there, right? <clears throat> and then 4 times 3 would be just would be equal 12 here. So we have a constant here. These are constant, these are x's, and then these are x squared. So that that would be the way that you would represent it by using tiles. <clears throat> we do that by using a table. So here is a table. And then here is our first uh, uh, binomial here, which is x plus 4. And then this is 2x plus 3 here. So multiply terms to fill in the table. Oh, OK. So for example, we have 4 times 2x, so 4 times 2x would be 8x here. And then x times 2x would be what class? It would be 2x squared. Put that up there, and then what do we do next here? We get x times 3 would be 3x. So we have 3x there. And then 4 times 3 would equal 12. There's our constant. Then we, we need to combine like terms here, right? So when we combine like terms, what do we get? <clears throat> so here's our table. Here is here's our expansion here of this multiplication. We need to combine the 3x and 8x, and we get 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. That would be the, uh, the product of multiplying these two binomials. Okay, into our first example here. 
multiplying binomials using a table. So we're going to use a table. Write any subtraction. This is kind of an important rule here. Write any subtractions in the binomials as addition. So we go negative 2x plus 5 and 3x plus a negative 1. Okay, that way we can use the table. And we always know in our table we got plus signs between our two terms of our binomial. So we have a negative 2x there and then a 5. And there's always a, an addition sign between our binomials there. So we have 3x and this is plus a negative 1 here. That's the reason behind that. So negative 2x times uh, 3x would be negative 6x squared. And then negative 2x times negative 1 would be positive 2x. And then 5 times 3x would be 15x. And then 5 times negative 1 would be negative 5. So that's really how we use tables here to multiply out our two binomials. So the product is here. And then we combine like terms. We have 2x and 15x. It becomes 17x. Then everything else stays the same. Negative 6x squared plus 17x minus 5. That would be your product here, these two binomials. Okay, into our first guide to practice here. Use a table to find a product. So we have these two binomials. Students, this is yours here. Pay attention so you can do yours. Okay, so here are your tables here. That's what we're going to use to multiply out. So here is our expression here. And we're going to have addition signs between each one of these terms inside the parentheses. So we can use our table. <clears throat> Here's our two binomials. We have 6s plus a negative 9, then negative 2x, 2s plus 5. And then here's our table. So 6s minus 2s is negative 12s squared. We have 30s there, and then negative 9 times a negative 2 would be 18s. Then negative 9 times positive 5 would be negative 45. So that's using a table here. Students, you're expected to do that for this here. And so here's your product. When you combine like terms here, you get this final product here. And negative 12 s squared plus 48 s minus 45. Okay, so distributive property. We've been using that for quite a while now. Another way to multiply bi uh, binomials is to use the distributive property, okay? That's what the cows say. Okay, into our next example here, using distributive property, you are enlarging a photo that is 7 inches long and 5 inches wide here, 7 by 5. So the length and width of the enlargement are x times the length and width of the original photo. The enlargement will have a two inch mat. So we've got two inch borders here is what we have. We have two inch borders here. Write a polynomial expression for the combined area of the enlargement and the mat. So, okay, how will we do that? Total length of the enlargement and mat is 7x plus 4. So we have 7x here. We have two inches here and two inches here. So the length here is 7x plus 4. And then for the total length of the arm, yeah, we know that. <clears throat> the total width now is 5x plus 4, too. This 2 inches here, 2 inches here, so we have 5x plus 4 for the width. So now that we know that, here's our two binomials. So we're going to use a, a distributive property here, 7x times 5x plus 4, and then 4 times 5x plus 4. This might be a slightly different look of the distributive property, but it's the same idea. And then we just multiply through 7x at 35x squared, 7x times 4 is 28x, 4 times 5x, 20x, and then 4 times 4 would be 16. And we have this here, we combine like terms here, 28x and 20x is 48x. So there is your area there for the mat and the enlargement. <clears throat> Square inches, square inches. Okay, so into our next uh, guide of practice here. Students, please pay attention so you can do your independent practice. And here we're going to use a table again. So we're going to use these tables. Guess what we're going to put here and what we're going to put there. Let's find out. So for up here, um, uh, we're going to again 
use addition signs between each one of these terms, negative 6b plus a negative 4, and then negative b plus 3. So we're going to line those up here, negative 6b plus negative 4, and then negative b plus 3, and then we multiply through negative 6b times negative b be 6b squared, negative 6b times 3 be negative 18b, and then negative 4 times negative b is 4b, and negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then once we have that, we combine now like terms, and we get this here, negative 6b squared minus 14b, because why? Because we have negative 18b and a positive 4b. That becomes negative 14b and then minus 12. So that would be your product of these two binomials here using a table, okay? And that was 12.4 part one. Part two is available here, everything else. Thank you.